I'm a savage. Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Savage E-Liquid. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today we're taking a look at Savage E-Liquid. It comes like this. Their 30 ml bottle comes in this and get it open. Oh my god, why am I failing? There we go. And here it is. Here is the bottle art. Savage. They did also send me some stickers that got bent in the mail. So these are high VG. They're available in 0, 3, and 6 milligrams nicotine. They are $24.13. We have Untamed, which is a key lime pie. Uncivilized, which is a toasted marshmallow. Feral, which is a blueberry tort. Uncultivated, which is peanut butter rum. Villain, which is fudge brownie with whipped cream. Rascal, which is strawberry cheesecake. Reckless, which is banana split. And Breathless, which is mango, orange, and pineapple. The flavors I am trying today are Villain, Uncivilized, and Uncultivated. I am trying these flavors out on my Troll RDA today, but if you don't use RDAs, you can invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. If you don't want to commit to a whole tank of e-liquid and you don't have an RDA, they're super cheap and easy to use. You put a couple drops of the e-liquid down there, you get a couple puffs of the flavor. I'll leave a link below to these. So first I'm trying Uncivilized, which is a toasted marshmallow. Hmm. Kind of smells like coffee coffee marshmallow. Hmm. That was underwhelming vapor. Hmm. The flavor is almost like a light coffee marshmallow. I'm definitely getting marshmallow, like a toasted marshmallow, but I'm also getting like a hint of coffee. And not much vapor production. And these are high VG. Next I am trying uncultivated, which is a peanut butter rum. Mmm, ooh, I smell the peanut butter and I smell like the tiniest tinge of rum. Okay, first of all, peanut butter, yes, good on the peanut butter, and it has that little bite of rum. But, um, what is going on here? The, the vapor production. There we go, that was a little better. And the rum was definitely more intense on that. Because at first I was just like, oh, it's just a little taste of rum. There's definitely more rum more, the more I vape it. And the peanut butter is spot on. I don't necessarily like alcoholic vapes, but I really wanted to try this because peanut butter rum, it just sounded good. And I've really been into trying new things that I didn't used to like because I'm starting to find out that I like things now that I didn't like. And last but not least, Villain. This is a fudge brownie with whipped cream. Mmm. And I'm just, I'm on the hunt to find the perfect chocolatey vape. I have yet to find one that um, I was like, holy, I love this because I love me some chocolate. Let's be real. Much better vapor production. It must have been that just that first one that was just didn't really have good vapor production. Anyways, this tastes definitely like a dry, because brownie, I think of moist, yummy. This tastes more of like um, a chocolate bread, like a dry chocolate flavor. There's maybe just a hint of whipped cream, but it's mainly an overwhelming dry chocolate flavor. I want to say like maybe, oh, like a chocolate muffin. I'm getting more of chocolate muffin, yeah. Chocolate bread, what the fuck is that? Chocolate muffin is what I'm getting versus like a thick fudge brownie, you know? Like, oh God, now I want brownies. I haven't had a brownie in a while. And you know what? I'm going to try one more because I really wanted to try. This is a blueberry tort. This is feral. Mmm. Hmm. Very light blueberry, like light and fluffy, kind of like almost flowery. Hmm. I do like it though, and I blueberry is one of the flavors that I don't normally like, and I definitely think I like. I'm leaning towards liking blueberries more. I definitely like it more than I thought, but there's a flowery hint to it, which I'm not really down with flowery as much, but it's not a bad flavor. Villain is still my favorite with the fudge brownie flavor, even though it's like more like a chocolate muffin. I like that flavor the most out of all of them. If you've tried Savage E-Liquid, let me know down in the comments below what you think. I will leave a link below to where you can check out these e-liquids, but that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vape
vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.